things are not as important as your life. Uh, it can wait. There's a reason you're not supposed to go back to those areas. Um, and, you know, it, it's not worth it to, to try and circumvent the security measures and things because they're there for a purpose. And, it can get really dangerous really fast. It appears that's exactly what happened at about 8 o'clock Wednesday night at the Banshee roller coaster at Kings Island. This employee was at Banshee when a man with two children approached the greeter at the entrance of the ride. They had lost their keys and that, that they needed to retrieve them because they needed to leave. And the person up front told them, well, we can't really do that right now. You have to wait until the park closes and then we can get them to you at Lost and Found. But the man, appearing agitated, returned to the line and then disappeared. A few minutes later, the employee says riders returned to the station screaming. So there were four people on the front row and two of them had a bunch of cuts and scrapes on their legs. And one had blood on his face. And sometimes people, you know, get nosebleeds on the rides because of the loops and everything. So it's not too uncommon. They said that, like, we hit something, we hit something, we hit something. And I, we were like, well, well, what did you hit? What did you hit? We're like, we think it's an animal. We think it's an animal, maybe a deer or something. And we were like, oh, okay. Well, so you sure? And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something like that. We are not saying this employee was working at the ride at the time of the incident, only that they were there. Either way, this person has intimate knowledge of the ride, saying where the impact occurred, it reaches about 68 miles per hour and is only about five feet from the ground. He says employees cannot even access the area without keys, and the only way they can retrieve the keys is if the ride is turned off. The man would have had to leap two fences and pass several warning signs to get there. I don't think that you could necessarily fault the park. I mean, there's only so much you can do. If someone wants to do something like that, they're going to do it. I mean, you could put as tall a fence as you want and someone will, you know, inevitably, inevitably if they want to do it enough, they want it bad enough, they'll go get it. Now the park is operating normally at this time, with the exception of Banshee, which is closed during this investigation into the incident. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.